Hello, welcome to Lily's Crafty Corner. Sorry for the squeaky chairs. Um, also, the background noise is the air conditioner. Very hot and humid today in New York. Not so much hot, but the humidity is horrendous. Anyway, I'm sharing a swap that I'm doing with Coffee, Cake, and Crafting. The hostess is Tiffany McGill. And uh, it's a group swap. There's four people to the group. And if you are, um, let me see here, Janet, Janet Lopez, Adrian Moore, and C. Alfred, please do not watch if you want to be surprised. What I've done, it's, what it is, we had to do a, um, a recipe, answer some questions, and um, make a memory dex, um, a handmade item, and a store-bought item and there was a cap on the store-bought item um, they couldn't be more than had to be less than ten dollars uh, so anyway what I'm going to do is go through it now this is how I wrapped it up this is how it's going to be sent to Tiffany and the um, topper I used a we are memory keeper um, edge uh, doily edging on the topper in addition to um, a Fiskars um, scalloped uh, circle and the die cut North Pole airmail came from um, Cottage Cuts and the uh, tool came from our friends over at um, AC Moore. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. I left one that I did not uh, package it so I could share it. What I did was uh, the envelope that it's in, believe it or not, is craft paper. It came on a long roll. And thanks to my husband, who had this for something he was using and no longer needed the remainder, I just used what I had. I made the, I just did some measurements, kind of played with it, made a square, roughly, um, I believe it was, I can't remember if it was 14 or 15 inches and did, you know, turned it on a diamond shape and then just kind of made the envelope from there. I used Fiskar's um, serrated scissors and did the, you know, the edging here. In addition to, I just did, used some red, actually a red Sharpie fine line and did the stitching. The little um, stickers came from our friends over at Hobby Lobby, which I did do in a haul with everybody recently. Now I'm going to slide the things out and just give you an idea. Now the um, recipe, unfortunately everything is not coming out as neat and easy as I thought it might. But here's, this is the uh, thing that I used, the cup, to make for the um, recipe to go in. And I kind of did, wanted to do uh, gingerbread cookies and I used uh, the paper that I used, I used two paper collections. One was, uh, I believe, Always Christmas, and that was from Hobby Lobby. It's several seasons old, and the same thing with Old, no, that came, sorry, came from Michael's. And the other one, um, Old World, did come from Hobby Lobby. And the um, die that I used to cut these, Little Gingerbread Man, our men came from um, Cricket, and the thing was, it's I have the original, so the cartridge was, I believe was the original sampler cartridge I got it from. Then the little dangly here on the side, I, re, I purchased um, and actually showed in a haul, was at um, Hobby Lobby. And I just put a bell on there and a, um, a little charm. And the charms came from the, from China in that, and then I also had a some brads, and it's funny, I've had this bread thing that I bought at AC Moore. The originally was $20. They had this 50% off thing, and I bought it, and I am not kidding you when I tell you, and not exaggerating, it's at least 10 years old, and it was a big box, and it had all these little compartments in it, and I am still working off of the those brads. Um, there's hearts, there's um, snowflakes, um, all kinds of things. And um, so anyway, I used, I put a, um, 
an eyelet in and then I put the bread in so that it you know wouldn't rip out and then I used again the the music paper came from this one came from old world and the buttons I also just recently purchased in a, a haul that I uh, showed uh, from Hobby Lobby so that goes in there then I wanted to put in a wooden spoon well I had a heck of a time finding um, wooden spoons so what I ended up doing was I had gone to the dollar store and I was even looking at you know for the kids have those little kitchen sets and I thought oh those little wooden spoons would be fine well I found everything but so at the dollar um, store I found these plastic ones and I actually gessoed them and then I put the gold uh, paint that I had which I'd gotten from Walmart um, you know one of those two dollar paints or dollar paint it was the metallic so it might have been a little bit around two dollars and then I just wrapped some baker's twine and put a little gingerbread button on it and we stuck that in there this is the memory decks card I did and it's supposed to be things that you enjoy well I love my wine um, I'm very into the hummingbirds we have several hummingbird feeders and we um, my daughter actually loves them and so does my husband so we have the feeders out off our deck and we do get to see them quite a bit during the year I'm kind of into shabby chic and so I did put some lace and some um, string uh, pearls on there and on the back of course the information the next thing that we did was we had to make a handmade gift and my handmade gift was I did a little um, box and in this box that I made and did a belly band and the paper again is from the old world collection I had these lovely little um, dominoes and I altered them and let me get my fingers out of the way I altered them, see if we can get them on screen right, and I did four of them, and I just thought they were really cute. Now, the one I did, um, actually it was, um, I have to give credit to uh, Trish Smith, because in a swap, she had given me some of these envelopes, and this particular piece here, um, the envelope, and the, uh, I stamped Merry Christmas, and I inked them up a little bit more, but um, it was her idea that uh, had so that I ended up doing this um, embellishment with the um, dominoes and here's the fourth one so I did four and these bows are also courtesy of Trish Smith and of course added some shreddies in there so I thought this was really cute I made a set for everybody and I had a great time doing it and my thing that I used with them and again I do speak about it um, a lot of people like the Mod Podge. I just hate it. I don't like the tackiness. I don't like the messiness. And what I do like is um, if you can get yourself some gel medium. The gel medium is awesome. I get it at um, Hobby Lobby. It's like $29 or $25, whatever. But if you use a 40% coupon on it, it um, it's, a, it's a big savings. And I always have trouble putting the belly bands back on. So let me see, yes, because it actually seems like it has to go on one particular side. So that is done. The next thing that I did for the swap was, of course, I made, I made an envelope and a card, and I actually pieced together pieces of the um, papers, actually, and I used both um, paper packs to do this, and I put on the Let It Snow, and I had a Fiskars punch that I used on... Um, some of this hologram paper for the um, snowflakes and then inside I answered the questions and I made matching envelopes. The next thing I did was she said make something that you really like and enjoy. Well I love making these mini albums and I especially like them now since I have gotten a sprocket and I will one of these days do a sprocket video with you and I have the Sprocket Plus, and everything is a little pricey, but I will tell you it's not something that you're going to do 20 times a day. Um, so, you know, but when you want to have it, when you need it and want it, it's awesome. So what I did was I made this. This was made with a 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and there's plenty of tutorials out there. Um, Tracy Phillips' Gift Basket Appeal does many of them, and so do others. And in here, what I did was I kept the um, decoration to a minimum so that um, 
you know, you can put your photos in there. This is also one of those ornament hangers that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I put a little bow on there. These bows came from the Dollar Tree. And then on the inside, I used from both paper packs. And I just had the stamps from May May Made It. That, um, the stamp package is all of these... Um, directions on like you know open close slide whatever and there's one that says place photo here and that's what I have put here so that people would know that they could put their photos I also did some tags so on the back if you want to do a little bit of journaling um, about what's going on you can do that and then I did the same here and these are just so much fun to make they don't take that long and um, the thing is, if you don't have double-sided paper especially, what I like to do is I ink in, um, you know, quite a bit, maybe three-quarters of an inch because I can't stand the white. I just think it makes it look very cheesy so that when you have the inking, um, sometimes, you know, it just looks better. And sometimes I use the vintage photo or the wal um, walnut from um, Tim Holtz, the Distress Oxides. I like them a lot. This is the uh, Candied Apple distressed oxide and I just do love it so that's the another piece now this store bought item that I did was um, I have an inn over at Kohl's and when they have their um, with a family member that works there so when they have um, their clearances and can you imagine Yankee Candles went on clearance the little tarts so I picked up some of those and I put them in a little bag I have the um, topper, the topper that I have um, came from China, and then I had these little gingerbread stickers actually came from Hobby Lobby, and that was part of a haul I did recently. The other thing is, in addition to, to doing paper crafts, I have a very enjoyable time. I go to a ceramic shop, um, and I do ceramics there. Um, it's local where I am, it's called Ceramics by You. And when I was there working on another project uh, for my granddaughter for Christmas this year, I um, happened to catch that she had some Christmas things out already, which was good. And um, it was a gingerbread man. And I thought, oh, let me um, grab those. And I, can, I actually picked them up on Wednesday, and today's Friday. So I did them on Thursday, and it took me a little bit of time because... You know, you have to paint them. And then I use the puffy paints um, to put the icing on. And I wish I was a little bit neater with it, but I'm just not. So it kind of looks more handmade, I guess, that way. And more like a real gingerbread man. Um, and I put some baker's twine in there. The other thing is I did a die cut of the um, stocking. And this is also something that came from China. And what I like to do is when I die cut them and put them together, I know a lot of people like to use the pop-ups, you know, the foam, but what I find works best for me in not all situations, but probably 85% of the time is the uh, foam sheets. And you can buy them in different colors. I have them in red, green, uh, black, and white. And um, I intend to get some more. I think I also just bought some in a crafty, like a light brown latte color that I can use. But I like, it's, it's easy to use the art glitter glue. You put it on there, you kind of press it in, really get it to adhere, and then you just fussy cut around it. And I absolutely love it. Um, let me see, did I forget anything yet? Now, the last thing I think that we have that we put in there, and I hope I remembered all the elements. Um, here's the, uh, I actually found these chocolates, these Ghirardellis, I went to uh, BJ's, and they, I had a coupon for $2 off, and I believe they were, it was the Harvest, um, it's a, it's a um, you know, a, a, a fall thing, and they, they used a bourbon a dark chocolate and milk chocolate, and they also have the pumpkin, pumpkin spice one in there, and it was like, um, I don't know, there's like maybe 40 of them in there for, it was $9.99, and then with the $2 coupon, it came to $7.99. So you can't really complain about that for the price of Ghirardelli. And I believe that is the, the swap. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you will catch um, 
Tiffany over at Coffee, Cake, and Crafting, and have a great day.